New recommendations by medical professionals say we are not getting enough sleep. Dr. Salim Sarani, a specialist in this department, joins us now. You have the Tor uh, Sleep Center, correct? Yeah. Uh, just give you a little plug there. I know you come in every Thursday and we appreciate you for doing that. Yeah. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, my mom called me the other day and said, your job, you're not getting enough sleep. You need to get at least seven hours. Well, I think this is not something new. It's been a challenge if you look at it. Uh, I published one of the first ever book on complete book on sleep and safety and that was published several years ago. Not even us, even if you think of the Navy SEALs and all those folks, they try to you know, curtail their sleep, but even their data shows very clearly that if you sleep deprived, your performance goes down. So if you look at the data, only 5% of the adolescents in this country are getting enough sleep, and 35% of the people in this country are not even getting enough sleep which is recommended seven hours for the adult between seven and nine hours. So if you look at the adolescent, they need even more longer sleep. So if you look at it, uh, we are one of the most sleep deprived nation in the world and it come with a big cost. What is that? Because we feel, uh, especially nowadays with all the different devices in our hands that we have to do more and we have to respond, we have to stay up a little bit longer to take time to respond to that person because everybody's used to instant communication. Well, you know, one of the thing is now we sleep with the iPhone or our iPad at the bedside rather than the pillows. Uh, if those were softer, I think I'm pretty sure the pillow would be replaced by it, the devices. It, exactly, and one of the big things is uh, it messes with your heart. Well, it's not only the heart. If you look at the sleep deprivation, it causes increased risk of obesity. It causes increased risk of your heart, stroke. It also causes uh, worsening of your diabetes. And it also alters your judgment. It causes drowsy driving. It is a very, very, very big challenge because when you're sleep deprived, your catecholamine level or hormone level goes up. That causes an effect on your heart and brain. Dr. Sharani, we appreciate it. What we're going to do is get some information from where you can contact Dr. Sharani on this topic and get a hold of his book. Also, um, we'll put all that on our website at kptriplitv.com. Thank you, sir. Likewise. Always a pleasure.